Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, let's look at this problem. This problem is also from a math competition. If you watch this video to the end, you will find an amazing result for this problem. Before we start to solve this problem, please note that this problem considers all real number cases only. You can pause this video to try it, or you can keep watching this video to see the amazing result. Again, we use the substitution method to solve this problem, and it's a very powerful tool to handle this kind of problems. This method has been explained in details in my previous video, so I put my previous video here, and also I put the link below so that you can follow. Here we let a equals to the cubic root 2 plus square root 5, and b equals to the cubic root 2 minus square root 5, and x equals to a plus b. So finally, we want to solve x. Then we make the complete cube for both sides. Then we got a cube equals to 2 plus square root 5, and b cube equals to 2 minus square root 5. Then we add them together, so we got a cube plus b cube equals to 4, and this is equation 1. Next, we multiply them together, and then we got a cube multiplied b cube equals to negative 1. And then we take the cubic root on both sides. So we got AB equals to negative 1. This is equation 2. Now we copy the result for equation 1 and the equation 2 here. And remember that our final goal is to solve x, which is A plus B. Then we expand the complete cube here. And this trick was also used in my previous video. Then we factor the cross terms, plug in numbers. Then we replace a plus b by x. Then we got this equation. We copy this equation here and reorganize the terms to the left hand side. Next, we split 4 into 1 and 3. Reorder the position. Factor the 3 out. But note this term in the box. We use this formula to factorize this term. Then we can rewrite this equation in the following form. We factor x minus 1 out. Simplify it. So we copy the result here. Next, we will deal with this term. If you are familiar with the quadratic function, you must know it's a parabola. For this particular quadratic function, its graph is above the x-axis, which means it's always positive for all x. But anyway, we will prove it here. So we rewrite 4 as 1 over 4 plus 15 over 4. Then we complete the square for the right-hand side. And we know for the complete square is always non-negative, so the right-hand side is always positive. Then the x squared plus x plus 4 is always positive for all real x. Finally, we can remove this term inside the box. So we got x equals to 1, and this is our final answer. So this complicated expression on the left-hand side can be simplified to number 1. That's why I said the result is so amazing in the very beginning of this video. You can use your calculator to confirm this result. So now you got an alternative form for number 1. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you like it.